Hello everyone, welcome to the heart of Ethiopia. If you've been to the capital of Ethiopia before, let's say six years back, you can tell how it's a dirty, old and boring city. Although it's the political capital of Africa and it's where the African Union headquartered, it was unwelcoming and uncomfortable place to stay. However, over the last few years, the city has witnessed a dramatic transformation, making it easier and enjoyable both to visit and live in. Today we're going to explore the new Ethiopia with much passion and hope. We started with Unity Park, which is positioned within the palace property. But first, let's explore the untold stories of this palace, known as Menelik Palace. It was used as the residence of Ethiopian emperors and is now used for government meetings and events. And it's located near the current residence of the Prime Minister. Regarding that, it was the most protected place in the whole country. As you get closer, you start feeling like you're in North Korea. Every corner of the place is heavily guarded with men from the army and heavy firearms. And if you're making laps around, you may be arrested. You're not allowed to use your phone or any electronic devices when you're around. Parking the car anywhere near is strictly prohibited and slowing the car could get you in much trouble. If you were arrested unexpectedly, that could be your last time to see the sunlight because you're gonna go underground, either dead or alive. Now we're going in there because all that is left behind and all replaced by welcoming guards and a very charming park. As we walked into the park, we entered a man-made cave only to see the remains of ex-prisoners. I'm joking. We entered the cave and it felt like the natural one. It was a quiet and peaceful place to be at. The cave had transparent walls to see black men lion and Walia ibex through. Then we entered a zoo and we were greeted by the sight of amazing animals such as white lions, colorful white dogs, cheetahs, monkeys, giraffes, zebras and many more. It was truly satisfying to see the beauty and wonder of these creatures. In addition to land animals, the zoo exhibits a variety of beautiful birds and waterfowl. Watching these fascinating creatures with their unique behaviors, colorful feathers, and listening to their diversified songs gives you a lot of hope in this life. And that's not all, we also spent some time observing different types of aquatic creatures such as a colorful tropical fish and we were amazed by the underwater world. We left the zoo feeling inspired by the beauty and diversity of the natural world. Although the history isn't our primary interest, we entered a museum located within the park to see what they had to offer. We saw a statue of Emperor Haile Selassie and some political events of the country exhibited. As we walk in the park, we got impressed by the amazing view of the whole city. Now I get why they chose this exact place to rule the country from. You can observe the whole city from here and you can see who's doing what. And it's definitely not easy to get attacked. Hmm, interesting information. Uncover three video mistakes. Comment to win an unforgettable tour of our three parks. Rewards goes to those who catch additional errors. And finally, we headed to the outdoor exhibit to explore the artifacts, heritage buildings and cultures of many ethnic groups in the country. The government here made the right decision and gathered all the landmarks of Ethiopia. Now you can easily explore the Aksum statue and the Najashi Mosque without visiting Tigray. You can explore La Libela Church, the tent of Somali people and many other artifacts all in one place. Unity Park has become the small Ethiopia where everyone is represented presented and it's now one of the most attractive destinations for tourists from here and abroad. As our time in the park came to end, we left the park relaxed and satisfied and most importantly, alive. Next we visited Intoto Park, another significant result of the last 5 years effort. 
and Toto Park is situated on the top of mountain in Toto, in the northern part of Addis Ababa. The park is known for beautiful scenery, including the stunning views of the city and surrounding mountains. It is where the groups of youth run for exercise and friends work just for fun. The park offers so many activities that suits every age and interest, bicycling, archery, horse riding, skateboarding, zip line, and etc. We were a little bored, so we wanted to try some of these activities. We started with horse riding. Riding horse was my passion since my childhood, and despite feeling a little scared, I'm giving myself the chance to ride it, <laughs> with very careful steps of course. It was very scary and I nearly fell from the horse's back. Anyways, I managed to regain my balance and keep riding because I don't want to show an intentional acrobatic show. Horse riding was an incredible experience and I'm definitely doing it again. Next I wanted to try zip line. Trying zipline for the first time was an adventure and I was definitely taking a risk by trying it. As I stood there waiting for the zipline instructors to prepare me for this jump, I couldn't help but feel like I was being led to the gallows. But I jumped anyway. The incredible views of the forest and stunning waterfall below took my breath away. I felt like I was flying through the air. Unfortunately, it was over too quickly. I'm looking forward to trying out on a larger scale next time. There were also some exciting activities to try out, like the archery and darts, the challenging activities that require skills, focus, and patience. And there were the 24 challenges I was afraid to try. Uncover three video errors, comment to win a trip to our three parks, find even more mistakes to boost your chances. With an amazing mountain views, clear air and fantastic climate, Ntoto Park has become a beloved destination for all to relax. It has become the place where friends gather to have fun, kids play around freely, and it's where workers recharge after a long week of exhausting job. Finally, we headed to Shagar Park, a beautiful lake surrounded by a lovely garden and a man-made river. The park features several working paths that line with trees and plants to create a beautiful green corridor. We kept lapping around, not really knowing where were we going. Many sport fields are available in this park, including soccer fields, baseball fields, and basketball courts, all provided for sport lovers. The park also has boats that visitors went to enjoy a ride over the lake. We have seen families spending their free time here, creating unforgettable memories. Couples plan their future together here, while newlyweds take photographs and dream of a better life. As the sun began to set over the park, everyone's attention was immediately drawn to the water display. As the music started and the water began to dance and leap into the air, we were charmed by the beauty of the water and colorful lights. The water seemed to move in perfect harmony with the music. The water soared high in the air and as it rains back, we felt the refreshing droplets of waters on our faces. Everyone was pleased except for girls with makeup. <laughs> Thank you.
Addis Ababa has undergone a remarkable transformation in recent years and the city is now a more welcoming and enjoyable place. The Unity Park and Toto Park and Sugar Park are just a few examples of the many new attractions and improvements that have been made. I wish that Addis Ababa gets better, sustainable and a city for all. See you in the next one.